Welcome back to another episode of Level Up Your Game. My name is Rip and I'm joined by MYK and Bobino and today we're going to cover the ninjas of Tekken. We've got Yoshimitsu and Raven. Yoshi. What up? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mathcast has been kind enough to provide us with these Street Fighter Cross Tekken Tournament Edition Fight Stick Pros and we're actually going to be giving these away. We have a giveaway going on the website right now and at the end of this video we'll tell you how to win another one. So with that, kick back, relax and get ready to, to level, level up your, your game. game. So let's kick things off with Raven's unique attacks, Mike. All right, so right into it, he has his signature up forward 4-4 four, four from Tekken, his Stormbringer. And in this game, it's uh, not up forward. No. It's forward medium <laughs> kick, heavy kick, or medium kick again. Uh, you could follow up with either, either variation. And the next move we have is his Skull Smasher. This looks like his back four from Tekken. And just like from Tekken, it's back four again, but with back medium kick. And then he has a couple extensions after this. Um, with the light kick version, it's just like Heihachi, but oh, last episode. Uh, <laughs> Heihachi, like if you do the light attack again, he just does um, the follow up and you can cancel it, just like he Heihachi. It's gonna be back medium kick, light kick. And this one is a natural combo? Yes, this one is a true combo, and you could cancel this into any special move as well. Right, so you can do like a fireball or anything you want. Mm -hmm. to do. Yep. And then the next follow up we have is, of course, the medium kick follow up is gonna be his Skull Smasher Fame. And then it's going to be back medium kick, back medium kick. And this is just like in Tekken where you do back 4 tilde 4-4 four, four or something like that. I forgot mm -hmm. the exact notation. You see his leg wiggle? Yeah. Oh wait, it's just back 4. Back 4-4. Four, four. Oh, or back medium kick, medium kick in this game. Yeah, it's the exact same notation. And yeah. then the, the second hit of this move is actually an overhead. Wiggle the leg and it's an overhead. But it's not a natural combo. Yeah. Right. So you can block the second hit. But it also, as you guys notice, it is a ground bounce launcher. So, so pretty good. Okay. And then, of course, for his heavy kick follow-up, it's going to be his Skull Smasher Faint Low. And then this would be, obviously, the mix-up, like Heiachi again. Right. Heavy extension is the low again. So it's back, medium kick, heavy kick. Oh! Anything yeah. else? Seems like that's about it. Pretty sure right. All right, All right, let me, let's talk about his uh, special moves now, then. All right, so for his special moves, the first move we've got is his Cross Ninja Stars, which is done by Corsica Ford and any punch. Now the light punch is obviously the slowest one, medium punch is a little bit faster, and the hard punch is the fastest for three. But the he can also the special thing about this is that he can also do this in the air. Right, you can tiger knee the motion to get right off the ground. And what does that mean, Bob, the tiger knee the motion? Uh, that means going from down to up forward, you know, rolling it from down to up forward. So, yeah, so it's, it's right off the ground. Or your fireball motion ending right. up forward. Right. So basically you're holding the up forward so that you got the course of the forward in there, but then the up forward gets them off the ground. Right, so it, it's punch. like an instant air fireball. Right. Oh, Carbon. yeah, and the cool thing about that is that, of course, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to it, but <laughs> next up we've got is Haze, which is his teleport. It's a sure you can motion with all punches or all kicks. Basically, if you do the all punches, he's going to be able, able to get to the other side of them. Uh, that's the forward one, at least. The right. back one with the punches or the kicks is always going to send him backwards. Only downside, you have full bar, which I do sometimes, is that <laughs> you'll, you'll, uh, you'll do a super in on accident. So if you want to go backwards, I would just do it with the kicks. Yeah, just so you make sure you make sure you don't get the super on accident. That's one of the things about new Street Fighter games is the leniency or the the, uh, the shortcuts. Right. Yeah. Okay. So anything else uh, his about teleport? The teleport? His teleport just seems like just picture sets teleport, and then that's pretty much the idea. Right. Yeah. So again, always the punches it. it puts them behind him. If you do the kicks, you know, forward sure you can with kicks. It puts them right in front of him, as opposed mm -hmm. oh. to the other side around other side of him. And but also, we should mention too about the corner. In the corner. Thing. That's yeah. right. Oh yeah. So if I this is the punch version. Which should go behind them, but in the corner, you won't let them go in. Right. So, so it, kicks will be in the front, punch in the front. So think of it like Phoenix from Marvel, where she can't teleport behind you when you're in the corner. Cool. All right, next up we've got his alter ego, which is Corsicle Forward with any kick. Well, go ahead, Bob. Well, there's three versions you gotta, oh, you gotta talk about. <laughs> so there's three versions <laughs> in this one. There's not just one. The light version is actually a low. Now, I would be more new. There you go. Let's show it on hit. This uh, reminds me of like Cody's like follow-ups for the, I mean the right. versions for the roof kick. Mm. Right, it's kind of right, like right. the same idea. And then close and forward with medium kick. Is well, you're, you're not drugging them with the ruffian kick. Ruffian kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I totally said Roofing. that. 
cake. All right. Goofy <laughs> and a cake. That's wow. how you get them. That's how you get them. 99.9% of the time, works every time. Yeah, Rufy and a kick. You know, Cody is going to be in the game. He just announced on the PS Vita, right? Oh, yeah. He's going to be one of those coming out later this year. So uh, let's go ahead and show. Of course, we'll go forward with the medium kick. It's yeah. just an overhead mix up. Right. So, as you mentioned, the, yeah, the, low, the light version is a low. Mm -hmm. Show here. And then again, medium version is the overhead. Oh, right. And then the hard version is going to be kind of tricky, but it's just the high. Yeah. It shows two at once, kind of used mainly for combos, we think. Yeah, because it's a two hit ender. You would do right. here. It's and two hits. And the EX version, at least when you use medium and hard kick, has acted as a wall bounce. Yeah, so I mean, we can do. Well, let's go through the you know the light version. This is the light EX version. Okay. And that's done with light and medium? Yes. Uh, light and medium. And then light and heavy, heavy. Or light and hard, is the overhead EX. Okay. Not too sure exactly what the purpose of the maybe just like an extra damage but, maybe uh, who knows. But then the medium and hard version has the wall bounce. Okay. Cool. Some more you know combo uh, extensions. Okay. Yeah, we got options. Alrighty, and next up we've got his wind cross, which is corsicle back with any punch. This is his charge move, and if he hits punch again, it'll actually have a second hit, but it has to be close up. Right, so and it has to be on block. Or a hit. Oh yeah, as long as it's close up. So the far when it's far away, it, that's the hit. That's how it looks. When you're up close, that's so, just pushing it once. So right. basically, whenever you're at a distance where it can go through them, mm -hmm. then you can do the follow up. So you push it again, and then he'll go back. Right. The interesting thing about this is that regardless of which punch you use, the range and the damage is all the same. Right. So kind of strange, but it seems like that's a, a trend with some of the Tekken characters where the, the you know the punch or the version of the button you use doesn't give you different you know results. It's the right. same move, same damage. And also the good thing about this move is even on block, if you don't block the other way, right. it will hit you. So it's kind so of like a cross So go ahead and block this mic. Yeah, if you just hold back, if you keep holding back, you will get hit. So right. you have to block the other way. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some of Raymond's normal things. Well, let's mention the oh, EX version know. of this move. <laughs> I was getting there. <laughs> I was going to cover it in the normals, but go ahead. Pretty sure you were going past this. But anyways, the EX version, if you push it, I think, two times, you get, you know, two extensions off of it. Oh, oh okay. And, yeah. But there's no combo at the end of that, even though it looks like he lands first. It doesn't look like it. Nope. Right. Yeah. Too much recovery. Yeah. Where, where'd you want to go? I want to talk about, actually, his EX Cross Ninja Stars, because it does a slightly little different thing than the regular Ninja Star. Oh, yeah, it actually yeah. gives a little pop-up. It's that little launch property. Right. Here. Yeah. And uh, regardless of which uh, Ninja Star you use, EX or regular, you can still teleport to get a combo later. But we'll get into that. Right. right. So for now, though, let's move on to some normals. Let's move on. So normals. Uh, one thing I like about uh, Raven is he has useful normals that look like they come from you know they come from the Tekken game, such as his uh, standing roundhouse. Oh yeah, four, four, four. Mm -hmm. Ball. I love that. <laughs> he has. Uh, and Tekken's got crazy range too. I know. Yeah, his uh, crouching strong. I think that's what forward to in Tekken. Not that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is it? Forward. That's his new forward two. Yeah. Oh, okay. It has a forward two, three, and then you And then he has, uh, I think, down forward four, four, and Tekken is his close roundhouse. Oh, sick. So, I mean, <laughs> and... Can you, cr can you cancel that into his overhead kick? Oh, I know you can't cancel that. It's oh. two hits. <laughs> yeah, you have to yeah, let it go. Yeah, uh, and he has <laughs> standing strong, or I'm sorry, standing forward, or standing medium kick. What is that? Down forward three in Tekken? Yeah, down forward three. Down okay. forward three. Counter launcher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he doesn't have his knee, I just realized. It's a special move. That's his signature. I know. I'm so sad. Wow. That, that just, that's all I would spam when I used him. I know. <laughs> that's his while standing one and knees. And heart just broke a little bit, man. Another normal that looks like it comes from Tekken is his uh, standing fierce. Oh, yeah, the far fierce. That looks mm. like his. Uh... Yeah. No, oh, that's his back turn forward, too. Yeah, look like at the one that grabs him and yeah, puts him behind him. Right. Right. That's sick. So I feel like yeah, a lot of his normals are taken taken from Tekken, and they're pretty useful. Uh, yeah, again, standing forward is a really good anti-air. Crouching strong is a good anti-air. That's very good anti-air. Special anti -air. cancelable. Right. Yeah, we didn't mention that yeah, yet. I mean, but let's, let's, tricky setup. Let's actually that. just talk about his anti-airs really quick. Can you uh, grab a stick and just jump in with like a medium kick or something, and we'll show how Raven can anti-air. Oh, she's a uh, floaty. Let's forget. But yeah, standing uh, standing forward or, or medium kick is a pretty good anti-air. Wow. But you can't cancel it, so. I mean, it's useful, but I think the stand, uh, crouching strong or medium punch is also a good anti-air to use. Because and you can cancel it. You can special. cancel it. So you can do like a jab fireball if you, if you get the spacing right with it. You can maybe catch him on a block. Or you can also go for the uh, teleport. Yeah, and create a really tricky situation for them to block. Yeah. Or you can kind of go for a runaway and throw a fireball after. But, you know, it's a really, really solid anti-air. 
Or you could teleport in front of them too, right? Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's, a, it's a pretty good anti-air. And, right. And he has a few options. I feel like one of the downsides of Tekken characters is mm -hmm. that they don't have a good anti-air option. He seems to have a few. Yeah, I mean, most of the anti-air options require a lot of prediction, you know, you gotta right. anticipate a lot. Yeah. But for Raven... You can kind of see it, I mean, bam, you just smack mm -hmm. him with that, or you can go with the Crouching Strong. So, yeah, definitely good options. Any other normals, Bob? Uh, one other thing is Crouching Roundhouse is his down back four, I think, from Tekken. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, and he's got his, uh, his other sweep. Oh, right, he has another, another good sweep. Uh, it's actually pretty, it has you know, special circumstances. It's mm -hmm. crouching fierce, you know, toss him up in the air. Dudley. <laughs> so you get a few things out of it. You can actually, because uh, as we mentioned before, it's quarter circle back punch is his charge move. Right. So if you just do it by itself, it's going to whip. But mm -hmm. if you hold it, you can wait for a little bit and then it, then it will connect. And then you can keep, go for wow. a combo afterwards. Um, and also, well, we'll get to it later, but he has some other kind of special yeah. combos some, that you can some, do. Some interesting stuff with that dash cancel. Yeah, pretty good. Dash <laughs> we'll get there. I don't Whoa. know. Whoa. I don't know what I said. What? All right. So that's about next all week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about. I think that's all about right. The first so let's let's uh let's have, before we move on to the combo, let's actually show them his anti projectile stuff. All right. Because first of all, he does have projectile. Let's bring Chun Li in. Let's uh since she's got a more regular projectile. Right. Wow. I had no idea that went through <laughs> the fireball. I thought you were just gonna throw a fireball right at it. Back at it. <laughs> yeah, he goes right through if you just kind of right. Yeah, wait a little bit, but yeah. You can't block that, right? You tricky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. And okay. one thing you can probably do, because it's also his charge move, you can just kind of hold it. And if you see them going wow, for a fireball, that you can smart. just let like, go. And yeah. you guys are talking about Ch or Ryu or something? Yeah, we were messing around with it earlier, and then uh, I was playing Ryu, and then you know how like he could he could hold his charge move to try to predict the fireball mm -hmm. and then react to it and let just let go. Uh huh. But Ryu can hold his fireball oh. too. Oh. <laughs> I could just backdash and it's just like double mind game. Well, yeah, we were kind of going back and forth. So you guys are both just in the charge, See, both charging and just let go first. You know, just intimidations. Like I'm gonna throw it. Oh. No, I'm gonna let go too, you know? Yeah, so the opponent, if you're up against an opponent who doesn't have a fireball that they can right. dash cancel, like Chun Li doesn't yeah. have that. Her charge was actually her lightning legs. Her lightning right? legs. So she, if I see a fireball coming, I can just let go and then just catch her with it. Or, you know, save myself and backdash. Right. Okay, and another anti projectile option for Raven is actually his own projectile, right? That does cancel out projectiles? Yeah. It's not like Mortal Kombat would just go right through another one. Another. Boom, right. there you go. I mean, you would think of, you know, Ball of Energy would go past a shuriken, but yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> they just cancel out. Not, so. not his shuriken, dude. Look yeah. how big they are. He just pulls them out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he has an unlimited supply. Right. And, and, you know, he actually has another uh, anti-projectile technique, if you want to call it that, just with his teleport. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, I mean, he can, you know... Well, just before we move on from his uh, mm -hmm. projectile, one thing I noticed is that you could use it, like, in a fireball war, you could tiger knee it, and then you could have your shuriken over their fireball, still going for their head. Yeah, you, oh. if you do it just right... And then you can teleport too, be, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> if you do it to the point where you jump over their fireball and yours comes out, yep. then, and oh. then you can kind of oh my God, what are teleport. Yeah. Wow, that's really, really cool. Yeah. Just some ideas for a zoning yeah. game. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, pretty good zoning game, well, we would assume, from having the only character who has a horizontal moving air projectile. I think, I think that's right, horizontal? right? Yeah, I think they all kind of go horizontal in this game. Air. Oh, air horizontal. Yeah. Well, Akum, oh, oh yeah. I mean, oh. We haven't seen him, but yeah. yeah but he's a diagonal too. A diagonal, that's right. Yeah. Not horizontal. So horizontal. Or Lento, Luffy, all of them go yeah. That's yeah. right, yeah. I guess it is. He's the only one. Yeah, so that's going to help his only game compared to other characters. Yeah, definitely. So far, that's our mm -hmm. prediction. So, um, I think that's about all his anti-projectile stuff. Yeah. Anything else you can think uh, of? I think he has enough. All so. right. So let's go ahead then and move on to his combos and strategies. Combos and strategies. All right. So uh, Raven has, like, again, most Tekken characters, a good jumping uh, cross up, cross up medium kick. Uh, it's pretty effective. It seems like it connects almost at all times. It doesn't really whiff, and so it's always a good option. You can try and get a, get a little ambiguous cross up with it. But... Right. And his jumping roundhouse, we didn't really go over in the normal section, but this is a good, his bash is like a bind move in Tekken. So if you can connect with it in the air, mm -hmm. you can land and go for a combo. Yeah, and you know, when we play versus one another, just test stuff out, like, you always hit me with that, because I'm trying to jump in at you, <laughs> and it's the most annoying thing ever. It, just, it seems like it has priority, I swear. I, I, mean, I don't know if it does, I'm just saying, that I mean, it feels it's crazy. Like, it seems a little slow, but actually, yeah, it comes out pretty quick, and it's very rewarding when you hit them, because you mm -hmm. know you get a free combo afterwards. So, yeah, it's I like pretty it. good. I like them. And it's not even on, on counter hits, so it's normal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't have That's to worry about, about it, yeah, waiting for that counter to follow up. You, you hit them, yeah. you follow up. Got my up. combo. <laughs> Got him. Uh, let's go to basic cross rush combo. Okay. He, uh, he can get two down jabs pretty easily into a, a cross rush. I, I think his cross rush is like a, you go with the kicks, 
So range. down, down leg kick, down medium right. kick, and then standing fierce punch. Uh, okay. If you do a crouching fierce punch, you'll go for the sweep, and you won't uh -huh. be able to, you know, finish off mm -hmm. the cross right. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the standing fierce has a lot of range. Yeah, standing fierce, you know, puts his hand all the way out. So and you can also start the cross switch from a crouching short and standing jab, right? Just to start the combo off with a low. Yeah, but uh, well, try crouching. I want to see if the standing jab will whiff. Hitting on the boot. There you go. Yeah, so you can do that as well. Yeah, if you want to go for the little bit, a hmm. little bit tougher, but you get that low, you get a crouching light kick to standing medium, uh, standing light punch into the cross rush. And there you go for that with the standard cross rush. Uh, now a little bit uh, more, not more advanced, but a good way is another the two down jab. You can get that. What was that? Skull crusher. <laughs> into, back four four. Into the but no, the light kick follow up. Okay. So you get two down jabs into the back. You know. Uh, medium, medium kick, kick light kick, kick. Oh, and then you can, and as we talked about in the beginning you get your own you get the uh, move of your choice afterwards because so, it's special cancel special cancelable so what I like to do is the EX fireball or the EX shuriken because uh, once you get that balance you can get some follow-ups so if you put a piece of it all together so you get a nice combo right there but the thing with that dash move that core circle back mm -hmm. if you time it a certain way you'll get two hits Okay. You can get additional hits afterwards. Ah, oh, like that. Yeah, so you can get an extended further. I, I haven't really figured out the timing on it. Right. I just know you, you have to wait a little bit. You just hold the button? Is that it? No, 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 you just wait. You just wait a little bit, and then is I think if you hit it too early, you get that one hit because it's right. too soon, and you're too far away. Mm -hmm. But I, you I, want the two hits because it you pops want the them up in front of you. Pops them up for additional hits, so. Yeah. Crazy. And that time you actually went under completely. Does that happen? Where it it, it kind of mixes you up. Kinda, yeah. So the way I try to, you know, I guess compensate for that is Raven has a core circle forward punch move and a core circle back punch. So if you get that, if you get that combo down, but sometimes you don't know which side you're gonna land. Mm -hmm. If you just go for like a standing fierce into a core circle forward punch, depending on what side you're on, you might go for a core circle back on accident. But that will okay. still bring out a move. You're still gonna get a. Combo you're still gonna get. Idea. You're gonna get an ender regardless. So if you try to go for the kick version, if you end up going to core circle back, mm -hmm. you're not gonna get anything out of it. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a if combo. That make, if that makes sense. Combo <laughs> option select. It's a combo. See right there, I thought he was gonna be behind me, so I right. but I managed to get a core circle forward punch with a shuriken. So you're getting mm. something out of it. And again, if you the other skull crusher mix up is the overhead. If you catch that, that binds them, and you get a free combo. So you get a standing fierce EX shuriken into it. If you get the jumping roundhouse, that slams it back down again for you know, another for additional hits afterwards. You get a slide afterwards. Nice. So. So That's it, a lot good, of damage. It's for good just damage. One yeah, if, yeah. You, if you can catch that cross up on, I mean mix up on, mm -hmm. so yeah, you get some good hits afterwards. So. Cool. All right, another uh, pretty cool thing we talked about is crashing fierce, where you can you know go into that charge move and hit it. Mm -hmm. But what you can also do is uh, dash cancel. As is in this game, when you have charge moves, you can dash cancel them. So with Raven, with we can do the crouching furious, and do the dash cancel, and you can do a follow up. Don't move. Wow. Did you? Oh my oh. god. <laughs> I was like, does that work? Dashing Raven up every time. Oh! Yeah! oh no! Come on, come on, come on. What happened? Cross the line. <laughs> Whoa. 545. 545, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see his hands go in the air? Yeah! That was so sick! Do it from a jump in box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're crazy! Okay, okay. So Raven basically, he has his crouching uh, fears. Crouching yeah, fears. Right, fears. dash cancelable, course go back punch. With his deal. Into, an, into repeat. Wow, you've gotten uh, pretty good at that. Oh. <laughs> Damn! too crazy now. Wow, so... I mean, that's pretty hard execution to do, Bob. Yeah, because you have to do Crouching Fierce, cancel to the fireball, hold the punch, mm -hmm. dash forward, dash forward, forward, Crouching Fierce, backwards fireball, punch, hold, hold the, punch, the punch, forward, forward. 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 Yeah. And, and if you do the forward, forward too soon, you actually jump under them. You right? go, yeah, you go under, and then you yeah. get the shuriken, because you can't right. really hit confirm that. Right, so, so I mean, it's pretty hard to do, but you get a grip of damage if you can pull it off. Yeah, right and on. it looks dope and <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm, exactly, thank you. <laughs> and, um, you can actually probably do that off a cross rush in as well, right? Yeah. Mm, 
you go. That was pretty sick. Yeah, so here's an, uh, just a basic crossbow combo into Raven. No meters, no, you know, pretty okay. simple. Cool. Any other uh, combos you want to show with Raven? My mind is blown. I don't know what else to do. So <laughs> Well, what is your basic Raven combo that you were showing earlier? Well, going back to that one? Like, just like a jumping combo, a basic Raven jumping okay. combo. Boom! Oh. There we go. Pretty sick. Yeah. So another way to combo with Raven is to, you know, it's full screen, you do the EX Shuriken and, and into a teleport. Not even EX, but you can do it with the regular. Yeah, so let's do it with a normal jab. You get a enter, right. do, but it exists. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's show them off the EX. Uh... Yeah, the EX one, because even though it's faster, when after you teleport, they're still bouncing. So right, they're still, still in the fall. air, basically. Yeah. Cool. And how about one with his uh, wall bounce? So you can do as a staple, you know, down jab, back, you know, skull crusher, you know, the back medium kick, mm -hmm. light kick, you know, the forehead string, or forehead link, if you will, and into the EX bounce. So once you do that, you can go in for the fierce loop. Oh. So I'm gonna get some shenanigans. The sweet loop, yeah, the Raven loop, I like it. <laughs> Bobino loop. Bobino loop. No, you did not. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was gonna say. Man. That's so hard to do. But still, you get the idea, right? <laughs> right, I mean, right. And you don't have to end with the super, right? You can do something else. No, something I like. wanted to end with the super. Yeah, I know but... you did, all right. <laughs> all right, so does that about uh, wrap up Raven? I think we covered a lot of stuff. I think, uh, yeah, for, for now, I think we're set up. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and move on to Yoshi Mitsu then. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Yoshi. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to Yoshi Mitsu then. You know, and of course in Tekken he's known for having a sword. He's the only guy who's got like a weapon, right? Yep. Yep, and he's got his spins and his suicides and his breath and all this crazy stuff. So let's uh, talk about his unique attacks, Mike. Alright, so the first thing we'll kick it off with Yoshi today will be his flea stance. And then it's going to be done with down all kicks. Uh, interesting note about this stance, it has a lot of weird things you could do from it. You have, well, first couple things we'll talk about is his unique attacks from it. It's going to be flea to sliding headbutt, which is going to be any kick attack, and it's going to be a low, and it gives a weird stun animation on mm -hmm. hit where you can combo after. Yeah, they grab onto the leg, totally in pain. Oh my god, my foot! Um, and then uh, he has jumping flea, and then the interesting thing about this move is that you could do it in any jumping direction, up forward, up back, or neutral. And then uh, it also counts as an overhead as well. Got and, that sword uh, in her face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call it. You gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the final thing you have, uh, I said the move list anyway, <laughs> is his <laughs> flea release. And then it's gonna be his uh, any punch attack from flea stance. And that just gets him back to neutral. Yep. And then uh, a couple other things that's interesting about this stance as well is that uh, it actually counts as an attack if you try to attack into it. Mm -hmm. So, but it only counts it as one time, and it only gives you a counter. But second time, third time, it doesn't do anything. Interesting. Is it just a low? Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry about that. I can't even get hit by it. How about you stop crouching and do like a standing attack? Okay. Still low. Right. Okay, so it's just low. Just load. Any play. crouching attack it looks like. When you, when you, when you uh, smack the sword, that's when you take the hit. That's and it's only the first hit. Don't smack the sword, guys. Don't smack the sword because he gets a full combo. And uh, another thing about the police dance is that you can actually dash forward. And, and hold down. And hold down, right? Well, before we go on to that, yeah, if you get hit by it, is it always a counter hit? Yeah. So if you know you're gonna hit them with it, you can actually combo into that slide. Yeah, using the flea to sliding headbutt with the any kick extension. So you get three hits wow. right there. So yeah. So that could lead to a pretty big combo. Yeah, definitely. Yep. All right, now, sorry, what were you saying for the rest of the uh, flea? And then the next thing he does have is the down. And he could avoid some characters' fireballs when using this, kind of like a Blanca Coward Crouch from the Street Fighter 4 series, but not all fireballs. Yeah. It definitely goes under reuse, but as we're seeing here, it does not go into Chun-Li. Surprise! <laughs> it goes out of fire. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we're going to move on to is his triple roundhouse combo. In the Tekken series, this is his 4-4-4 string. <laughs> yeah. And in this game, it's actually forward roundhouse, 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 aka heavy kick. But in right. this game, it's actually kind of useful. Yeah, and you also <laughs> get... <laughs> 
Yeah. It could be useful attack in that. Yeah. <laughs> if you duck the last hit, yeah. it doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried ducking the last hit in this game? <laughs> Oh no, because it's a full for me. Okay, yeah. Full stand up first and then. Yeah, like that. There you go. Yeah, I didn't think right. so. Okay, <laughs> natural combo. Natural combo in this game, and it also gives a spinning knockdown so you can follow up with some kind of combo. Uh, there we go. And then the uh, next move, we're move on to is his Poison Wind Brawn Fist. Ridiculous name. Uh, <laughs> for, it's going to be his forward medium kick, medium punch, back back. The nice. weird part about this string, you notice he did a back step right there. That's actually the back part, part right. of this whole string. Yeah, I mean, do it without the back back really quick, Bob. And you notice right there, he doesn't do a back step. Right, he's standing right in her face. They're crossing legs, you know, they're close. Crossing the line. Crossing the line right there. <laughs> 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 All right, now, you guys had the bronze. We got to move on to the silver. Yeah, poison so, wind silver fist. <laughs> poison wind silver fist. I wonder how poison really? feels about these moves. She's <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad. Dorito bag, sorry, go on. <laughs> so he has a... Uh, Forward medium kick, medium punch, and then the extension is any kick puts him. You do a little backflip there. <laughs> also, uh, he also has that string attack in mm -hmm. as well. You could use it as a wall OG, okay, but that's a different game. All right, so the next move, we have to upgrade to gold after we got to silver, of right. course. So wow. we have that poison to me. <laughs> gold fist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, forward medium kick, me medium punch, any <laughs> kick, then any punch. Wow. Boom! Right. Super high launcher. Second. Class A launcher. I know. <laughs> Class A launcher in this game. Pretty sick. Wow. All right. who, who made up those names in Tekken? I don't, I don't know. know, but we have more fists and more steel and more. Yeah, dude. There's more, there's more poison coming. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so the final, final, final poison wind combo <laughs> is poison wind, bronze fist, platinum. steel fist. Uh, no, he's got bronze fisting and steel fisting in the same move. Oh, yeah, okay. no platinum in this game. Yeah. Platinum fisting. <laughs> and then to do this, it's going to be forward medium kick, medium punch, forward medium kick again. It's an infinite no, it's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and just to, just to, just to note, the forward medium kick is actually his overhead as well. All right. Pretty cool stuff. Is that about uh, all of his unique attacks, Mike? Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to Yoshimitsu's special moves then. First up, he's got to have some poison. So we're going to talk about his poison <laughs> breath, which is a half circle back in any kick. And the light and the medium versions of this move, like they just leave them standing, but the hard version actually will give you a combo. But it's the slowest. Right. Slowest start of time. Yeah. Right. So next up, we've got his flea to poison breath. Oh surprise, surprise. So wow. you get a flea and oh a half God. circle back, any kick, same notation, and boom, you've got a little combo starter. You can connect with the flea slide right there. Yeah, I'm not sure what you do when you... Yeah, he's a spread. You can't really cast out the flea stance to do anything. Uh, right, so. right. But nonetheless, he has that out of the stance. Right. Another option. Okay, so I think we're done with all the poison stuff. Let's go ahead and talk about his Gehosen. Excuse me? What? <laughs> Gehosen. What did you say? What did you call You watch your mouth and you say <laughs> what? that. Okay, so a Gehosen is a forward down, down forward with any punch. So a dress sure punch. Can. Yeah, and it's kind of like a sure you can thing too. It's a Gehosen, dude. Gehosen! That's what he said, right? I heard him. Did yep. you him? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Totally. Um, nothing special about it, just Shoryuken. Uh, the EX version does have some invincibility. Well, also the Fierce version, it seems like it pushes him back a little farther on the hit. Alright, and so next up we got a classic from Tekken, which everyone loves to do to end rounds and humiliate people. We've got Yoshimitsu <laughs> Suicide. It's done by uh, half circle back, forward, and any punch. Now the uh, light and medium version, they, uh, well, let's talk about this move real quick. Okay. I don't know if you noticed that he took damage. Oh, right. As well. That's a good point to make. <laughs> Yo, he is committing suicide here, so he's gonna get hurt. <laughs> yeah, take, takes like a jab in the face damage. Yeah, we're gonna call it suicide because he survives. Yeah, he totally survives compared to Tekken, whereas he really does not. Right, right. So, um, yeah, show up again one more time. We'll see that he does take some damage here. You know, does the fierce version do more damage to himself? Looks like slightly more damage, but on hit, the damages are the same. The EX version actually does a little bit more damage. I think it does 200 damage on hit. And, and also, also does stabs yeah, himself hit twice. twice. <laughs> so, he's, so he's taking a little bit more damage. Double uh, suit stab. Yeah, pretty fun. I mean, I don't know if you can like hit it in combos and stuff, but uh, it was just kind of like a in your face kind of move as far as no, we know. I think it would be good in the switch cancel. If you have a character Ooh. where they're sucked in and you switch out and bring in Yoshi. And just stab him. And then just stab him. No, there's a reason. <laughs> it's okay, fine, man. <laughs> All right, well, next up is Slappy Silly Bob. 
Excuse me? Yeah, slap you silly, dude. Oh. Of course, go forward with any punch. You're just with all these kind of jokes, dude. They're not jokes. They're just bad. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so slap you silly. Uh, of course, go forward with any punch. It's, uh, I think, back one in Tekken. Yeah, back one. Right? Oh. right, so you can hit it multiple times for more hits. By itself, if you do not hit it for more hits, I believe the light, medium, and hard is two, three, and four hits. And if you mash them more, then you'll get six, seven, and eight hits. Oh my god, I'm dizzy. Yep. Another thing to talk about. Yeah, if you, if you do if you do mash the hits to get more hits, you will get dizzy and you won't be able to. You basically lose momentum. And you know, and you can hit him out of when he's yeah, as he's actually far. considered standing the whole time. So. Yeah, so that's not a good thing to do. Hmm. You don't want to finish gonna die. it off. Right, unless you want to switch cancel out of it. Right. All right, and so next up we've got his stone fist, which is. Similar to this, except I believe it's down back 3 3 3 3 3 in Tekken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so this is done by Corsco Ford and any kick. Is it called Stone Fist? Are you using his feet? Don't don't ask me. Oh, I didn't I make up the names for this. I'm just, just reading it. Up. <laughs> 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 so let's go to show some Stone Fists. There you go. Same thing. 2, 3, and 4, depending on light, medium, or hard. And if you mash the buttons, you'll get 6, 7, or 8 hits. And same thing, you'll also get dizzy after this. Leave him standing, you can still hit him some more. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. So, next up, he has his Indian Stance Vacuum Dance. Damn, I just fought the rapper, dude. In his stands back and dance, it's a teleport move. It's done by sure you can motion with all punches or all kicks. Same as Ravens, which I guess is the same as other Street Fighter characters. If you do the forward with the punches, you'll end up on the other side of them. If you do the forward with the kicks, you'll end up right in front of them. Exactly. And both back ones will take you for the back. What's the difference between the backwards versions? Like on punch or kick, does it matter? As far as I know, there isn't any. Pretty much the same. Okay. I just never really knew. Yeah. And, um,. Finally, we have his uh, Sword Poke Windmill, which is kind of his Vortex move. What's called? What's that one's called? Oh, Tandon Engine. Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, so half circle back and any punch. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> he has a Tandon Engine in this game. Yeah. So. Right, and you can see the smoke in the ground. And regardless of which punch you use, light, medium, or hard, the range is all the same, the damage is all the same. But the smoke kind of gives you an indication of where the hitbox is. Yeah. It's not exact, but it gives you a pretty good idea. The EX version has a little bit more range. And uh, I believe, obviously, more damage as well. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So the more damage and more range. Right. Well, it's not more damage; it's a different animation. I mean, it is more damage; it's a totally different animation on it. Right. right. The Eagle one, you have to go through and pass to the oh, other side. Oh, or two on counter. Yeah. That's right. It is, isn't it? That's oh, so sick. that's pretty cool. All right. So that about uh, wraps up the special moves. You want to show them the super really quick? Uh, half circle back, all punches. Yeah. This was also um, from the Swordfork Windmill. This is his charge move. Does it have the same range as the, uh, like the EX or Normals? I wonder. Wow, that's a lot of smoke on the ground. It looks like <laughs> it's a little bit further. That is wow, pretty yeah, good. That is pretty far. That'd be a nice uh, anti-fireball right there. That's a... Uh, just, just thought of it. I, I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> Pull one here and... Oh! Wow. Oh wow, and, the, and just make the fireballs <laughs> disappear too. He's out? I mean, we. Oh, oh that was what? crazy! The fireball's still on the side. Oh, I was going to say we made the fireball disappear because I was talking about if you do the regular. Right, you get hit. Right. But you oh. go into an animation. Yeah, it's Interesting. Maybe if we do it early enough, yeah. Yeah, maybe we might still get hit. At the end of the super, you get hit? Maybe. Oh my god, is that going to happen right now? Hit him. And... Oh, yeah! there! Oh, <laughs> Bullseye! Yeah, yeah. Gotta fix that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty interesting. No, because you might kill him with the super, dude. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty Dude, fun. can you imagine supers were switch cancelable? Anyway, that would be nuts. So, uh, that's all his special moves. <laughs> that's super, super fighter cross second. Yeah. So, if, no, that's not coming. They already announced the video. We got more characters. We don't need a super version. Let's move on okay. to his normals, Bob. Alright, so on to Yoshi's normals. Uh, you would think with the guy with the sword, he would have some range, but he's actually not the best normals in this game. Uh, this is a standing jab, crouching jab, not much range. Same with his uh, shorts, or light mm -hmm. kick and a standing light kick. Mm -hmm. His strong, slow, looks like it'd be a good anti-air, it is not. As demonstrated here, not very good. Wow. <laughs> you know, the sword is like, it's pass. I think it's all an illusion. It's all for show, yeah. Yeah, I think just the nub is actually where you hit. It's actually so, a, yeah. So the crouching strong, like, not that great. Crouching forward, doesn't even hit low, it hits mid. Right. And let's actually show them the hitbox on that crouching medium kick. Just uh, stakes the mic. Bob will show. So you, you, that, uh, the hitbox is kind of funky, even though it looks like it should be hitting, it it's not. It should be hitting here. I'm, I'm hitting chun -Li. <laughs> Yeah. chun -Li's like, nah, whiff, 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 Same whiff, with whiff. the crouching strong, right? Yeah, yeah look, at that. look at this. 
It's like slicing her knee. No, nope. she took an arrow to the knee and she's still. Dude, it's all a hallucination. His leg is a hallucination, as is his sword, dude. Your arm just chopping. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, it's a little uh, deceiving. Deceiving, exactly. Yep. So, and this is a standing uh, uh, fierce punch. It's not not special cancelable, nor is his uh, roundhouse or heart kick. Mm -hmm. Jumps in the air and spins. It's uh, not very useful either. And uh, crouching roundhouse is a slow, you know, sweep. You know, not cancelable and. You know, disappointing normals, I have to say. Yeah, compared to what we've seen thus far, it's, it's pretty Man, even disappointing. Even that standing fierce looks super slow. It's slow. Oh, it's very slow. Actually, what I do like is this crouching fierce. He looks pretty cool when he does it, and it's a good anti-air. Right, this is definitely the anti-air that is preferred. But again, not this is neither. This move can be slightly cancelable, so you just gotta commit to it, and that's all you got. Right. But it's pretty. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. decent damage, though. 90 yeah. damage. I mean, it could be 100 compared to other people's anti-airs, right. but you know, it gets the job done pretty much. And I guess uh, going off with the whole anti-airs, I think his best anti-air, besides that move, is uh, his forward roundhouse, the unique attacks, the three roundhouses. Oh, right, right. You can catch them, you, know, you can get a combo after Interesting. It. So you can, you know, catch that and get it consistently. It's, it's, that's a really solid anti-air. Right. Like all Tekken characters that I've repeated time and time again, he has a really good cross up medium kick. Right. I mean, that's just kind of almost generic in the game now, you've got to say, think for most characters. Yep. I mean, Marduk obviously, maybe some others, but. Yeah, Marduk and Kuma don't have one. Right. Like the bigger guys. Yeah, but, uh, Marduk had one. Does he? Maybe a bit possible. Yeah, his fierce cross up, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. People can revisit, revisit that episode, but. Um, yeah, so again, crossing medium kick is a good thing. Uh, his jumping roundhouse is actually a bind move, much like Raven. Right. Yeah, the ninjas both got air binds. The ninja air bind. <laughs> you know, actually, kind of interesting, Ibuki has it as well. Yeah, it looks exactly the same, actually. Yeah, so Ibuki also has. Let's do it together, come on. Oh, you gotta jump forward, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of... Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. So yes, yeah. all the ninjas get air binds. Wrong, wrong character. My bad. Man. Yo, <laughs> this is for Tekken Cast. It's I, for you. I just realized we got the ninjas against ninjas. But he has an impressive jumping fierce, which is he spins his sword. Oh yeah, this is a great move. Oh, yeah. This is this has ton, tons of you know three hits. surface area like where he covers so much ground. Yeah. Helicopter. They have very long active frames on it, I believe. Yeah, long active, and you can combo if you land if you land the attack. You Again, standing jab or strong, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a great, yeah, great way to get in. And that's about it for notable normals. Right. Maybe jumping neutral jab, you know, you want to catch him. Wow. That is surprisingly a lot of uh, active frames. Yeah. I mean, just for to connect with the combo after it. Yeah, that's not that's not bad actually. But the jumping neutral strong is a swipe, you know, horizontal swipe. It's not bad either. I don't know how good it'd be on a croucher. Hmm. Seems like his best jump in for the best damage is just his fear or something. Yeah, but it I looks do, like I, mean, I do like that jumping neutral jab. That's why do you like it so much? Just because they're not gonna wake up if you catch someone. If you hit it, you know, you get a combo right there. You know, it seems pretty safe to do. You know, good pressure. You know, you want to go for throw, what have you. What so. does the standing medium kick look like? Is that a good footy tool? Like I mean, I guess compared to everything else, it just seems pretty good, but yeah. it's still kind of slow. It's it just, looks slow. It's, it's so slow. Oh, it's just down forward four in Tekken. Yeah, I mean, and Maybe. if you want to talk about speed, I mean, just look at his movement speed. Just show him walking forward and back. Like, like, I mean, he's got one of the slowest movement speeds now look, now look at his dash. How much better? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. What? Is that his back dash? Are you yeah, kidding? Yeah, that's, that's it, dude. He's a, he's one of the slowest characters we've dealt with. Even Marduk had like a crazy fast dash compared to... You know what? Yoshi. Although his dash is slow, it is... You know, it ends quickly, so you can kind yeah. of do it over. He stays and over. low to the so, ground. You know, yeah, it's pretty good. But I mean, it's not pretty good, but you can kind of work with it. Right. You just got you want to jump around with this guy or teleport to get around. Mm -hmm. You know, for mobility. But in terms of normals, that's, uh, that's what you got. So now should we move on to some uh, combos? Oh, uh, let's talk about anti projectile really quick. Actually, we touched on it a bit earlier. Yeah. But uh, let's just show him really quick. I mean, we've got his teleport. I think that's probably his best one. That's right? what it seems. And then he's got, you know, like he just showed his uh, flea slide. But this one is totally situational. You got to range it exactly right. Otherwise, you know, it just it takes forever to get into and avoid. So you basically have to like block a fireball and then know the next one is coming and instantly do it. You know, it's, it's so impossibly like difficult. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't call this an anti projectile. I would just say it's one of those moves that can get around a projectile. It's like, hey, it but the fireball. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Uh, I think maybe in flea you just jump and maybe you stab him on your way down. That's the yeah. best you can do. But the thing is also, in Flea, it looks like even if you hit with it, you're going to get hit because you can't block. Right, because if I see you go for like the, the cross-up, 
you get hit of, hit out of it afterwards. Right. So I mean, it's not really a good place. It's, you know, it's not you're not really advantageous position on hit off a of flea. Yeah. But yeah, going back to anti fireball, mm -hmm. the slide can work if you really yeah. anticipate. <laughs> if you're a genius. We thought going for the super was a good option, but then you got hit after after. That's still, it's still, you know, <laughs> so, it's super not a bad choice. Seems like it's for the damage you're gonna option. get. Yeah, the damage you're gonna get. It's oh, not let's bad. Let's see. Oh, does it even oh, work? Oh wow! Ooh, that's rough. Oh, oh my. Yoshi, what do you got? I don't know. Yeah, I mean he's got teleport. That's what he's got. Teleport. Yeah, you can get through. Yeah. yeah, teleport's not bad. We'll go with teleport, guys. What do you think? Uh, all right, so let's move on then, Bob, to some of his uh, combos and some combos. strategies. And another tough thing with Yoshi is uh, getting a little like a down jab cross rush. You know, Link. It's he doesn't really have one. You can get two down jabs. Barely. Yeah, but you really have to link them. You have to really link them, and then afterwards you can't even get anything else. So you actually kind of have to go for one down jab mm. to the cross rush. Wow. It's, it's really tough. Like you have to really get the timing down. Can't even do it. <laughs> Honestly, can't do it. There, it's, it's tough. <laughs> and this is for a down jab. So right. with him, I think you want to go for like a jumping fears. If you yeah, manage you to land that, from there, then right? you can just go into the cross rush. Um, That's crazy. I, or you know, cross medium kick. You know, always right. a solid choice. And a pretty good is uh, normal that I didn't go over is is a close uh, a medium punch. It's a nice quick move. A lot of hits though. Yeah, because if you get that, you can get a down jab. Um, to connect afterwards. So. Interesting. And from there, you can go into his uh, Gahosen. No, that wasn't Gahosen. That was just Slappy Silver. No, no, no. no. I, well, I'm saying, uh, <laughs> I wanted to go into the Gahosen. Is that, that wherever that name yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. You're saying it right, dude. You got a Gahosen. Right. Yeah, I got a Gahosen. <laughs> I got a Gahosen. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Gahosen. So, it's it, it, a good seven hit combo. Something like that. Right. Or you can go for EX Slash oh, Silly. Wow. And I think maybe I think he might work the best with switch cancels. I think this might be Yoshi's style. Because if you can, you know, again, you can jump in with the Fierce. If you catch that, you can get a standing strong into his uh, Vortex. Wow. Or, and if you do that, then you can uh, switch cancel while he's in the middle of doing this. And from there, you can, you know, combo. Yeah. And it's a good thing because you can get a full combo with your next character while they're still standing. So you're not worried about you know hit stun deteriorate oh, or, or the hit counter. That in the is air. pretty cool. So, hmm. so he's really designed for the tag aspect of this game. That's what it feels like because he has a lot of moves that last a while. Right. Which is I mean, if silly we or, yeah, it might be a very interesting like setup character for your other characters. Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, I was just thinking like if you count if you consider him as just like a single character by himself, you know, then he's looking pretty low. Yeah, you know, I'm like from what we've seen so far, yeah, right? Yeah, impressed by himself. But I mean, the jumping fierce that he has is very, very good. Yeah. You know, so I mean, the fact that you can combo that into his Vortex, the Switch cancel the teammate right. in to do some real damage, I mean, sounds like it's going to be pretty useful. You get a mix up right there if you don't expect that you know, right. overhead or, you If know, they were blocking it. Yeah, yeah. Or not blocking it, because they oh, were right. getting hit by the first knee, and then after it ends... Oh, I see. You know, you get some shenanigans hmm. out of it, so... One thing is his bad breath, uh, you know, the, the roundhouse version, is kind of hard to land in a combo since it's so slow. You can't really do it okay. you know, by itself. But the EX version, you can get. So then you can kind of do a, a King-esque kind of combo, like his EX convict kick. Okay. So you can kind of loop that over and over. I mean, it's maybe not the best idea yeah, to use your bar, it's but probably it, not but worth it, it at all. <laughs> Save it for the tandem engine. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, like, even though that didn't fully connect, it was like a 270 point. Well, I mean, you don't have to go three times. So let's say cross up, you know, kick, EX. That was more damage. This <laughs> <laughs> cross rush. Yeah, like there you go. That, 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 that was a combo bomb. 366, then that's respectable. Was that even one bar? Yeah, okay. See, so that was way more respectable. All right. There you there go. go. 401. There we go. Now we're getting to Okay, yeah, we're getting you know to Yoshi, he's starting to like you. you know, <laughs> he's getting better. It's not hey, so bad. Like, that jumping uh, in Fierce Punch is definitely yeah, it's kind a good of way to get things going. One of his strongest tools, I feel because, like. Because, yeah, you just can't really just sit there and jab and, like, oh, I no. got something. Let me combo. Yeah, he definitely doesn't seem like a footsie kind of tool character. Yeah. So, and then, what we talked about before is uh, four roundhouse 
Uh, yeah, you get some. You can. It seems like the only thing is the, the go home soon. Or yeah. That's the only thing <laughs> you, can, you can get off. Of go home soon. Go, go home soon. <laughs> oh. There you so, go. So, you know, again, it seems like he's a, he's a Switch Cancel kind of character. Alrighty, so what about Yoshi getting cross rushed in? Alright, again, I feel like his style overall is more like on the ground as opposed to air, but here's a you know pretty uh, standard cross rush combo. Two seventy one. That's uh, not bad for one stock. <laughs> and so we tried a bunch of stuff and uh, basically we can't find pretty much anything that's like decent big chunk of damage, right? Yeah. I mean, l let's show them what happens when you try to combo into a super off a cross rush. Right. <laughs> you don't gotta laugh about it, Mike. <laughs> Look, you see? I got him! Oh. It's very deflating. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what the hell are you supposed to do if your teammate gets a cross rush in? Slappy silly and tag them back in to do a real combo. Just suicide yourself. Yeah. I'm not ready for this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just combo into suicide. Oh, oh. oh you, you hurt yourself more, more than you hurt them. <laughs> How much was that, though? 243. That's pretty good considering the damage we see from him. Yeah. He's got... That's pretty good, right? <laughs> oh, missed him. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty rough, dude. So, Yoshi, as far as we've seen, uh, or as far as we've found, has not been a very strong combo-heavy character. More on the ground and starting the combos, it seems to be more his style. More like a setting it up for his teammate kind of Yeah, character. I mean, he's got, he's got teleport, so, you know, he can kind of create mix-ups, you know, to, to trick his opponent. He's got Fleece Dance, which be a little bit tricky, and hit him with the low, that's a big combo starter. None of his heavy attacks are counted, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's... Even even in cross rush too, because usually, right, usually you can still cancel him with the X ones. Right, and that really limits his damage options because you can't like cross rush with a medium heavy into an EX something. Yeah, exactly. you know, even so that's that a big problem for him. Okay, so his super doesn't connect in the after cross rush. What about his cross art? You would think that would maybe even come out. Here's the worst <laughs> thing. So when you do it with Yoshi, he doesn't even attempt to do the cross art. As uh, you'll see here, I am doing the motion, and that comes out instead. Right. It does not come out. Right. And, and what, what did you? What normal did you just cancel? I did a crotch. I mean, a standing strong. Or right. Standing medium. Punch. So just show them that does that does actually cancel into cross art standing. In the but, air. I mean, right. standing right, 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 as opposed but, to in a combo. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Opponent is airborne. Maybe that's what. It is. Yeah, but that's, I, I didn't know there was kind of. We haven't seen those yet. Know, you know, that's so. Very rare. But there's a cross art with Yoshimitsu starting. Let's show them cross art with Raven starting, actually. Just so that they can see it. We didn't show that to them yet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this guy's great. Yeah. He's a great character. This guy. I'm not too sure. Yoshi, I just think we need more time. <laughs> Yoshi, we're gonna have to He's have in the game for a reason. Talk. Yeah, we you don't quite know what We haven't is. tapped his potential, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they're pegging him as like the joke character like Dan. I don't Dude, know. I don't know, man. He's a Maybe pretty he's sick looking character. They made him look so sick. Tekken 3, what Yoshi's is, look back. At this. What is this? I don't know. Man. <laughs> what is That's this? That's a joke. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so that about wraps up our coverage of Yoshimitsu. Uh, yeah, he's like that. <laughs> I mean... What are you gonna do? Maybe there's more to him, but we haven't been able to tap it yet. Maybe... Maybe just a setup it. character. Maybe something crazy if he has the right partner. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, I think, I mean, you know, it is a tag based game. Some, uh... and it's very early. The game's not completely out Negative until time. maybe today. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Um, or soon. It'll come out soon. Anyway, point is, Yoshimitsu, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> um, so that about wraps things up here. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And follow us on Twitch TV. Websites, levelupyourgame.com. We are giving away two of these Mad Cats Tournament Edition Fight Stick Pros for Speed Fire Cross Tekken. We've got one giveaway on the website already, and if you want to win this one, this is what you gotta do. Blah 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 blah. You guys get the point. Anything else we're throwing there, Mike? Bob? Poison. I feel bad for Yoshi. I feel bad for Yoshi too. Yeah, poison wind. Poison wind. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's about to wrap things up. So uh, tune in next time to level, level up your game. game.